from San Diego, California. We're spending two full days in San Diego, California. I'll be sharing our complete travel guide to some of the best things to do, eat, and see in a weekend in San Diego. We're taking off our first day here on Mission Beach Boardwalk. We're just walking here. First thing you do when you get to San Diego, you want to go see the ocean, right? Mission Beach Boardwalk is nearly two miles along the ocean front. We aren't walking the entire two miles, but it's a perfect area for a morning walk to see the ocean and of course grab some breakfast. So while we're down here on Mission Beach, we are gonna go to Molly's for breakfast. Molly's came highly recommended and we love the variety of breakfast options they offer and the fact that they have a rooftop seating area. We're all about enjoying views while dining out. So I got my acai bowl, oh my God. Gosh, this looks amazing. And then Vince actually got the breakfast bowl, which has eggs, sweet potatoes, quinoa, avocado, lots of good yummy stuff. All right, Molly's was A plus. Very really, good. really good food. The acai bowl, his breakfast bowl, highly recommend. It was delicious. And it had a really nice ambiance too. All right, we are at our next stop and we are going to Old Town, San Diego. And I didn't know it's actually considered a state historic park here. Old Town is free to visit, but we did end up paying $15 for parking. So just keep that in mind. Old Town, San Diego is so unique. It features Mexican heritage, preserved historic buildings from the 19th century, tons of wonderful Mexican culture shops, and a variety of restaurants. We ended up walking around this area for roughly an hour, just admiring all the historic beauty. If you love to shop, you could definitely spend way more time here. There's so many cute shops here. Okay, Old Town is amazing. It has all the Mexico Spanish feels you could ask for. Really cool area, definitely worth checking out. We are at our next stop and we are at Balaboa Park. This is a really big park here in San Diego. There's lots of different things you can do here. When I say there's a lot of things to do in Balaboa Park, I mean it. It's a 1200 acre park that has over 30 different museums and buildings made with some of the most gorgeous architecture, 10 different garden areas, a variety of foodie options, and tons of walking areas to see. What I recommend doing is stopping at the visitor center here in the park and talking to one of the guides. They will give you a map and explain all the different areas to see in the park. It was super helpful to get a lay of the land and know exactly the areas we wanted to see. The park is free to visit and there's lots of free parking around the area. But one thing we did decide to purchase tickets for was the Japanese gardens. This area is one area that isn't free at $14 a person, but it was really pretty with lots of koi ponds, waterfalls, lush gardens, and Japanese architectural buildings. Also, just Snow Bellabo Park is right next to the San Diego Zoo. We are not going there, but if you're into that, it's definitely worth checking out. And look what is right behind me. This is the Unconditional Surrender Statue, which is the famous World War II kiss. I'm sure you've seen this before. It's located in Tuna Harbor. We basically just came here to see the statue, but this is also the area where you can tour the USS Midway Museum. So I was expecting this famous statue to be way smaller than it is. It's very tall. We have changed into beachwear. We are over on Coronado Island at Silver Strand State Beach and we're just gonna spend a few hours just hanging here at the beach. We figured this would be a nice little break in the day. We brought our chairs and we brought our cooler with because we drove here from Arizona. That's where we live. What's a little getaway without a little relaxing, right? Silver Strand State Beach does have a day use fee. You can select the time limit. We did a two to four hour limit and it was six dollars. The beach was really nice, quiet, and relaxing. It wasn't crowded at all. We just enjoyed watching the waves, the birds, and we were even watching some people clamming. However, just note you can't actually swim at this beach, which we weren't planning on doing anyways because the water was way too cold, but just keep that in mind if you're looking for a swimming beach. But it is nice, they have bathrooms, changing rooms, and showers all available to rinse off your sandy feet. All right, we are spending the rest of the day in Little Italy. We're gonna have some pre-dinner drinks and go to dinner down here tonight. Just walking around the streets of Little Italy definitely gave you vibes of Italy, and the smells from all the Italian restaurants will make anyone hungry. For pre-dinner drinks, we headed to Born and Raised, as they have a beautiful rooftop bar area. The service was great, the views were great, and the drinks were great. 
We can't recommend Born and Raised enough. It was a great experience. So for dinner, we are going to Felipe's Pizza Grotto. So we ended up getting a combination plate here because they have huge servings. Both Vince and I couldn't eat all the servings here. So we got some garlic toast, lasagna, and ravioli. So we just cut this whole platter in half. And look at this, I have a whole plate. I have half a lasagna piece and two and a half raviolis. And still all this garlic bread. Plenty of food for two. The dinner was excellent. There you go. Really glad we shared a plate. That was a huge portion. So that was perfect. But we're in Little Italy, so guess what's next? Gelato. And now it's officially nighttime. Super pretty, everything's lit up. We are going to Bobby, Bobbio Natural Gelato. Got our gelato, it's so good. I got Mediterraneo and salted caramel. And Vince got? Salted caramel and apple. Perfect little treat to end our day. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. It is day two here of our weekend in San Diego and we're kicking it off with some nature today. We are at Torrey Pines Nature Reserve and this is a really pretty natural area along the coast. Beautiful coastline and lots of little hiking trails and stuff to see here but come prepared. It is 50 degrees this morning. It's chilly. Um, it's the end of October as we're visiting, so definitely come prepared. We quickly fell in love with Torrey Pines Nature Preserve. This park does have a general day use fee of $20 per vehicle, but it's worth it. Once we entered, we stopped at the Guy Fleming Trail, which is about a 0.8 mile loop to some of the most breathtaking views of the California coast. This is definitely a must-do trail. As we kept driving, we made our way to the visitor center, which wasn't open yet, but we decided to go and enjoy some of the hiking trails around the the center. We ended up hiking to the Red Butte on the Razor Trail. Torrey Pines was a perfect way to start our morning. And the next stop is La Hala Cove. When you see photos of San Diego online, La Hala Cove is one of the first photos you'll see. This small white sand beach and turquoise water area is surrounded by sandstone cliffs and is a protected marine reserve. It's popular for snorkeling and scuba diving. This is where you'll find the large colonies of sea lions and a variety of seabirds, but just come prepared. Because of all the wildlife here, it does come with a smell. Some areas are a bit smelly. However, it is free to visit and there's walking trails that run all along the coast here. It's definitely a must-see area when visiting San Diego. We are now at Ocean Beach, um, just in a little area we just wanted to kind of check out. I think we're gonna get some food here because um, there's lots of little food options here. Ocean Beach, aka the OB, is just a small little ocean town great for strolling. There's a pier here, but it was closed when we visited, but we sat here and watched all the surfers. I'm gonna stop here at OB a Smoothie Bar and get an acai bowl. Vince is craving tacos, so we're going to, I think it's Mike's Tacos. Woohoo! Here is my acai bowl from OB Smoothies. So Vince got a steak and shrimp taco, and they give you like three different sauces to put on the tacos here. And a fruit punch, here we go. Yeah, that's a huge taco. It's enormous. That's awesome. It's gonna be messy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, yep, it's messy. Mm -hmm. How is it? It's definitely one of the best street tacos I've ever had. Two thumbs up for OB Smoothies for their acai bowls. Just as good as the one on Mission Beach. I don't know how you really screw up an acai bowl. They're just all really good. So right here on Ocean Beach is Sunset Cliffs Natural Area. So that's where we are now. Unfortunately, it's too early for sunset. It's about one in the afternoon, but it's a really pretty area just to go walk along the ocean, get in some really pretty views. And of course, if you're here for sunset, this is the spot you wanna be. We're just kind of bopping around in new areas. So now we're down by Pacific Beach and by the Crystal Pier. This area is a vibe. We really like this area, it's really beautiful. Remember when I said I kind of fell in love with Torrey Pines this morning? Well, I kind of did the same thing with Pacific Beach. It's definitely a hip, younger crowd here, but it's a really nice white sand beach. Lots of people were swimming and surfing here, and it just had a really great vibe. Unlike the ocean beach here, you could actually go out on the Crystal Pier here. And these little cottages on the pier, you can actually rent from the Crystal Pier Hotel and Cottage website. It was lots of fun watching all the people fishing from the pier but it also offered some really great coastal views of Pacific Beach. So the water is supposedly 64 degrees right now. Um, 
pretty chilly. I don't know. <laughs> we decided to go check out two different bars for pre-dinner drinks. The first one we went to was El Prez, as it had a rooftop bar with some really pretty ocean views. And the second one we went to was Baja Beach Cafe. We got to sit right along the beach boardwalk. If we had to pick one, Baja Beach Cafe was definitely better, especially if you can get oceanfront seating like we did. So we've spent most of our afternoon down here at Pacific Beach, such an awesome area. But it's time for dinner, and we're eating down here at Pacific Beach. We're going out for sushi. Just a couple blocks down from the boardwalk was Sushi Coochie. I think I pronounced that right and it was amazing so I got eel avocado a salmon roll Vince got shrimp tempura and a soft shell crab roll it's one minute to spare we caught sunset <laughs> And that's a wrap. Thanks so much for following along on this two-day travel guide to beautiful San Diego, California. I hope you find this travel guide helpful as you plan your trip to San Diego as I share some of the best things to do, eat, and see in two full days. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments and be sure to check out my channel for even more travel guides.